This is a construction update for the week of September 30th, provided by the City of Somerville and read to you by the Somerville Media Center. Improvement Projects Beacon Street Reconstruction Final paving on Beacon Street from Sacramento Street to Oxford Street is now planned for overnight Monday, September 30th to early the morning of Tuesday, October 1st. Work hours are expected to be from approximately 6 p.m. Monday until approximately 5 a.m. Tuesday. That section of Beacon Street, including Sacramento Street and Oxford Street intersections, will be closed during the work hours with on-street parking restrictions. Driveways within the work zone will not be accessible during work hours. Sidewalks are expected to remain open. Bright lights and loud generators may be used overnight. Mass dot contractors now expect to begin laying out and then installing a high friction surface treatment in on-street bike lanes between Washington Street and the Cambridge Line throughout the week of September 30th, requiring parking restrictions and bike lane closures. There is an odor to the material that may be noticeable in the area. Cyclists are advised to continue using the bike detour during construction. Green Line Extension Construction activity is expected to continue around the clock within the rail corridor at various work zones between Gilman Square in Somerville and College Ave in Medford. Throughout the week of September 27th, GLXC crews will advance work on foundation, walls, and utility relocation while commuter rail service is suspended. Work near Ball Square and north of College Ave will involve breaking up rock and cutting track sections to install drainage lines which may be disruptive. Contractors will make effort to minimize noise when possible and direct lighting away from residential buildings. Please note that construction train used for excavation and hauling of materials will be active during overnight and weekend work. This heavy piece of equipment, which is regulated by the Federal Railroad Administration, is required to use its horn for safety purposes whenever it stops and starts. More detailed information about upcoming and ongoing work throughout the GLX alignment can be found in the bi-weekly construction updates from MassDOT. Frequent overnight and weekend work is expected to continue throughout the end of the year. If you need assistance for GLX construction related matter, please call the 24-7 GLX hotline at 1-855-GLX-INFO or email info at glxinfo.com. In lighter news, join your neighbors, GLX representatives in some big trucks at Gilman Square Block Party on Saturday, September 28th for food, art, music, games, and more. Sacramento Street Underpass Rehabilitation. As noted last week, concrete placement has been completed and custom railings have been ordered. When the order has been fulfilled, the railings will be installed and the underpass will be reopened. Somerville Ave Utility and Streetscape Improvements. Crews plan to connect individual properties' water services to the water main on Linden Street and Allen Street. City contractors and Eversource crews may be near the Stone Ave slash Somerville intersection removing duct banks. For maps and more information about current detours, please see the detour tabs of the project website or the MBTA website for service advisories. Somerville High School Building Project The Central Hill playgrounds are expected to close on or around Friday, October 11th to advance construction on the Eastern Wing. A renovated, relocated version of the playgrounds, which will be established in front of Central Library as part of Central Hill Campus Plan, is tentatively scheduled to open in the fall of 2021. Crews plan to be on School Street installing a water line behind the campus during the latter half of the week. Some residents on School Street between Montrose Street and Highland Ave may experience an interruption to their water service on or around Saturday, October 5th. Sign up for the City Alert System to ensure you're notified if your property will be affected. At the Western Wing, contractors continue framing exterior walls and installing sheathing on the building's facade. Preliminary interior work on sprinkler and plumbing services is also underway. At the Eastern Wing, crews continue to form and place concrete for foundation walls. Washington Street Water Main Upgrades during the week of September 30th, crews plan to continue working on Washington Street between Beacon Street and Leland Street. Installing new water valves within excavated pits, lane shifts may be required. 
Pavement and Sidewalk Management Program, Sidewalk Reconstruction, will be taking place on Medford Street from Partridge Ave to School Street. Citywide Manhole Rehabilitation National Water Main The city's contractor is rehabilitating manholes throughout Emmerville through the spring of 2020. Lane closures, lane shifts, and parking restrictions may be implemented as needed. During the week of September 30th, we expect crews to be on the following streets. Broadway, from Alewife Brook Parkway to Russell Road, Cameron Ave, Clarendon Ave, Elmwood Street, Farragut Ave, Glendale Ave, Malvern Ave, Moore Street, and Victoria Street. Additional utility work. Utility companies are responsible for notifying their residents prior to conducting any work, but we expect parking restrictions and lane shifts due to the following utility work. Detail officers may close a road if deemed necessary for safety. Eversource Gas will be doing utility work on Berkeley Street, Brostow Ave, Dearborn Road, Highland Road, Pearson Road, and Prescott Street. National Grid will also be doing utility work on Stickney Ave and Washington Street from Crescent Street to Franklin Street. This has been a construction update for the week of September 30th, provided to you by City of Somerville and read to you by the Somerville Media Center.